for this next procedure, we'll be treating tooth number seven. The patient already has a mesiofacial filling, but since he whitened his teeth, the tooth has now um, become lighter than the restoration and it's visible. So we're gonna be replacing that with Omnichroma. If he changes the shade of his teeth again, that will continue to blend in with the tooth. Our patient, he's nice and numb. We've got the rubber dam on, so we'll get going. So we've got most of the restoration drilled out. So now we're just gonna do a bit of a bevel and you can do more like a starburst bevel as well, just to get um, different planes of the enamel and better blending with your product. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we have um, our restoration pretty much drilled out, we're gonna put um, a matrix in. So you can either, either use a curved um, miler or just a regular miler, whatever you prefer, depending on what your shape is. So we got that in place. Okay, so we're gonna start restoring now. So I'll start doing my uh, uh, selective etch on the enamel only and I'll go really far beyond um, the edge just so I don't end up with a white line where my composite and tooth end. Um, if you have an air abrasion unit it's really great to use that right before you do this as well to just clean the tooth a little more. And let's wash it off. So now we're gonna apply the Tokiyama Universal Bond. So my, seat, my assistant is just mixing those two bottles right before I'm actually using that. Just a drop from each of the bottles and then we just apply it to the tooth. And it's gonna be really, really strong. We don't, um, we don't even have to really rub it in. Just get it on all the surfaces of the tooth. And then we'll just do and then we'll just do a gentle stream of air. So just light for five seconds and a little bit stronger. Thank you. So for the interior tooth, we're gonna need to use both Omnichroma and um, Omnichroma blocker because we, if we don't use the blocker, we're gonna get a lot of translucency. So we wanna match that. So I'm gonna just build the, um, the enamel part, just that contact first with the regular Omnichroma, and then I'll apply the blocker just where I expect that dentin to be. Translucent. We're gonna just shine the light on that. You can see when it goes on, it's um, really white, but don't worry. Um, when you cure it, it will match that tooth. So let's uh, hit it with the light. And then once we cure this, I'll remove that um, mylar, the curved mylar, and then you can see better. Okay, so see it does match. So now we're gonna apply the denon, um, the blocker just where we want the dentin to be. I like to use a little bit of the flowable as well, but we'll um, just to minimize any voids, but we'll use the regular composite as well. It's in that, or is it in this? Okay. I've got a cart to make it easier. Um, just one second, I'll just put it together. 
And pass me the blue instrument there. So now that we um, have our mesial wall built in, we're going to put the blocker um, in the areas where we expect the dentin to be. I put a little bit of flowable and then I'll just put some more of that blocker. And I'm still gonna put a final layer of the um, the regular Omnichroma for the enamel, but just get this all nice here. This is actually a waxing tool that I like to use for this, um, just to get a little bit of a sh dent and shape to the blocker. We'll get it a little bit over the bevel just to uh, not have a fracture line there. So now that we have that um, layer built on, we'll just start with the polishing. Thank you. And then I like these uh, soft flex discs, so I'm going to just start getting some of that anatomy. So I was hoping I would actually. Um, so I was hoping I would actually get a void here. So I've got a little void here that I can show you how to fix. So we'll just fix that really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drill a little bit of that out with a round burr. Then we'll put the bonding agent again, and then we can put a little bit of the Omnichroma Flow. And if, even if you've done a lot of layering there, it's really nice um, with the Omnichroma. Um, because it's going to match to whatever you have, so that makes it easy. the mylar strip first. Let's just redo that.
so once I've drilled out the void, I'm just going to put a little bit of more um, of that bonding agent. I don't have to etch because I'm just bonding to the tooth right now, uh, to the composite right now, rather than the tooth. Cure that. So as you can see, that was really simple, even though we were working on a front tooth. It's a really easy product to use, works really great. I'm sure we're gonna have really great results. Try it yourself, you're definitely gonna love it.